Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyopolis 5, the modded skyblock. In today's episode we're going to be setting up some pedestal crafting which is going to lead us to make the quantum compressor. We're then going to be increasing the efficiency on our um, nether star collections by a lot. This is all going to lead us to be able to make the best ultimate enriching water and then if we've got some time at the end we're going to be cashing in all of our awards. Right, to start this episode off, we are going to be getting ourselves a whole bunch of black iron because I've had a quick peek at what we're going to need for the next set of quests and it is a lot of black iron. So if we have a look here, when you start off with the crafting core which takes a lot of these black iron slates and an elite catalyst as well as a bunch of cobalt. So the elite catalyst is really where we should start. And we are going to need a whole bunch of plates. So it would be nice if we could automate that as well. We'll take all the black iron I have from in here. We can start crafting everything we need to knock off these quests. So this one, so first of all we need a bunch of these. I should I should favourite these really, shouldn't I? Okay, that's good. And then we can craft that. Like that, and then, right, we're missing a whole bunch of things for that, but that's alright. Let's take all the black iron we've got from here, we'll chuck it away in here. Um, I'll keep these bits on me, because I'm sure I'll need them at some point. We'll chuck our next stack on there, and we'll just keep it looping. So a crafting core, so we've got this. I'm not really sure how or it needs energy to start with so we're going to want it over here and I think it also needs to be surrounded by things so I might want to make a platform and then next in the quest is crafting a pedestal which takes a whole lot of black iron which is one of the reasons I made so much and then I think it needs to be placed in some sort of arrangement around this, but I don't really know what that is. So let me just quickly look into that. Okay, so it looks like this is the sort of setup I need here. I've already got my power into the middle there. I don't know if I'm going to need power for each of the pedestals. It doesn't look like it. But if I set them up in this sort of arrangement around here... then that should be what we need. So it says no recipe found, pedestals 12. So next stage is enhanced ender components. We need four enhanced ender ingot and some black iron slates. So we do have a nether star which we can enhance. And then we need the black iron slates which I have plenty of. I did make some more black iron as well. And did I need to put anything in the middle? How, how was that crafting? Oh, so I need five enhanced ender ingots then. And then we swap that out with some ender ingots and we should be able to get it enhanced. But we're going to need a lot more of that. So I will need to go and just grind a whole bunch of withers shortly. Which I have a plenty of heads. I do want to test if these things can destroy it, or if they would be destroyed by the wither. Would be very nice to know. Okay, and then I need one, two, three, four, and one in the middle. Oh, that's quite cool. Right, enhanced ender component. And then obviously we need to make it up into the catalyst, which is going to require three more of them. So let's go and do that, I suppose. Okay, so first thing I need to do, I need to find out if this thing, Mob Masher here, can damage the Wither. His hitbox is very low, which is quite annoying.
If I can get him high enough, can I place... Right, I can't place the mob masher down. I wonder if I could push it up into him, though. Is breaking this going to be a mistake? I think breaking that's going to be a mistake. Let's kill this one and let's try spawning it on top of the mob masher. See if it will destroy it. I think that's probably a good thing to try out. Because I do have to admit, when I was setting up for coming back here, I did accidentally release a wither. And I didn't kill him, I just flew him off in that direction a bunch. Alright, so let's try replacing this block with a mob masher. Will he destroy the mob masher or will it kill him? It would be really good if it is witherproof. Right, I just want to know if it damages him. Well, he broke everything around it. He's not breaking it. If I could get the lever a bit lower. I think that's working. I think that's working. So if I just go home and I get some upgrades for it, I reckon that's going to do quite well. Right, it's still not broken. Oh yeah, that does a very good job. I've got to be careful not to touch it myself. And then... Am I able to spawn a wither without the obsidian? Okay, this is another scary test, because if he escapes, I'm going to be really annoyed. Nope, he's fine. That works just fine. So, I guess I'm just going to keep doing this with a bunch of withers, because this is obviously the fastest way of doing it. Look at that, it just instant death. I don't want to get too close. I need to. I do need some way of preventing myself from getting too close to that. I don't know what I could do. Oh, a trapdoor on the edge of it would probably work. All right. So testing this out, I feel like he's the wither would just break the things instantly. Let's take the upgrades out of here and just see if this does even stop me from getting too close. Okay. Right. Yeah. What even in? Okay. In the corner there, it can get me. So as long as I avoid the corner, I should be all right. But I have a feeling the wither's just going to break those blocks. Oh no, it doesn't really get a chance to break them, so that works fine. And then I'm just going to need—I'm just going to do this until I run out of either skulls or soul sand. And that should be about 21 stars for us, which is loads. I have no idea if it's going to be enough or not. But we will find out. I will immediately get them all going. I'm going to need some more Eyes of Ender, actually. So this Blazing Blood can get turned into Blaze Rods. If I just stick that on here. Like that. And then stick a Redstone Torch back over the top of it. So that will get 10 Blaze Rods per bucket. Which is going to get me absolutely loads of ender eyes. More than enough for what I need. So I'm going to craft all that up. All right, so that's all crafting away there. I'm curious to see if this eye actually goes anywhere. No, it doesn't let me throw it at all. Because it can't find anywhere. Damn. I was hoping, I was hoping it would lead somewhere cool. Right, but now they're crafting. So where was I along the quest line? Aha, so the enhanced... Ender Catalyst is what I needed next, so I needed three more of these. What's this then used for? It's then used to make the com Quantum Compressor, which I assume is what's next on there. Then we can get Blank Ore, Blank Ingots, and Ultimate Enriching Water. Which is going to be fantastic. Okay, so I've just made the other ad ad Enhanced Ender Components. So now we should be able to make the catalyst, which is the next step, and then a quantum compressor, 
takes two of these ender catalysts as well as some of the crystalline catalysts and then some crystalline crystal teen ingots crystal teen ingots and i think i used up all of the ones i had left when i was making the cobble gen upgrades so i will need to make some more of that and then get the other one of this and i have got a whole bunch of enhanced ender ingots coming in here Right, so I have all of the ingredients I need for this. So we pop the frame in the middle and then all of these bits around the outside. And that's going to come in and make the quantum compressor. So how do we do that? Used to make singular singularities. I assume it needs power. So we'll stick it on the end here or even on the other end would be better, I think. Closer to the rest of it. And we already have power cable there. Oh, that takes a lot of power. More power than I have. Jesus Christ, that takes a lot of power. I may need to get some more generation for this. God, this... I thought this series was coming to an end soon, but no, this stuff's taken a while. Anyway, then I can get blank ore. Can be broken into different raw ores which I can press a blank gem and a bit of stone together. 512 items. Is that 512 gems or stone? And then what, what even is that used for? I'm clicking used for on it and it does nothing. Maybe I just break it and it turns into things. Well, we're going to get some of that and see what happens. So we need to stop the gems from going in here because we need them. And then I did disable this, so I'm going to need to turn that back on. But the reason I disabled it is because we're so low on here. So I tell you what, if I've got some obsidian, and just do a void upgrade, so any extras of the nuggets that my machines can't handle, it's just going to void. So then that shouldn't be getting clogged up there. Okay, I just need the one gem. It's the stone I need 512 of. Oh, the gem doesn't even get used up. It's just sort of like a filter. Okay, so blank ore. And I break it. And I just got a bit of raw iron. That seems like a waste to me, unless you're able to get something from there that you couldn't from other bits. Right, I need 256 cobblestone to get a uh, raw ingot. Three ingots. Quest complete. Now we need ultimate enriching water, which is a whole lot of blank nuggets. All of the catalysts we've used before. And... Oh, that's going to take a lot. So I guess that's where I need to get started on. I need to go through and make all of those. Which is going to be really annoying. But then that's that quest line completed. So it looks like we're getting about one quest line completed per episode. So if we get this done today, then maybe two more episodes. I don't really know. I'm just guessing. Oh, but I can do that, whatever that is. Oh, every ingot combined together to make the ultimate ingot. I don't even know if I have a lot of that stuff. Okay, I've made all of the cast lists. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how many ingots I need. I haven't counted them. But I feel like that's going to be enough. Almost half a stack. And then I just needed three buckets which I forgot to grab and then ultimate enriching cast list there we go oh that took so long I'm so glad I got that done and then next thing on the quest waste can be turned into skybucks in ultimate enriching water so I think it was Cosmos enriching water I needed. Uh, 
Yes. So then what can I use for that then? So I can use it to recycle it and get all sorts of things, including Skybucks. So it's not just Skybucks. Only 17 from two stacks, so it's not amazing. Unless, am I supposed to buy things with Skybucks now? Can you buy Singularities? But that is the next stage. So just, uh, okay, so it's a Singularity for different items. Okay, right, I've got things glitching there. So it's got to be you just chuck a certain amount of item. Oh, there we go, that's telling. Okay, it tells me here for some reason. 4,096 items and an ultimate catalyst. So I need 4,096 items. Hold on, is it blocks or ingots? It's ingots. So 4,096. Ha, huh. yeah, I'm way off. Do you know, I can do some things, so I might as well do what I can do. And then we're going to need to figure out how automated systems to build up the rest. Let's do something I haven't done in a while and claim all my quests. Well, I've got lots of things here. So, Amadron tablet I don't need, technology guide. An air compressor, charging station, cobbled gen, scanning modules, extreme reactors book, plenty of skybucks. Oh god, I've got a lot. It's dropping everything on the ground. So a planter, a blue parrot egg, another planter, oh a globe, interesting. Cool. Leafy string, some axes, chest, swords, furnace, quantify key. An arrow turret. Some more keys, leather, mini charcoal, wooden stairs. A rotten egg. Oh, well, that's everything on the floor as well as some furnace, some chest, apple crates. Target dummy, a couple more brick turrets, another cobble turret, loads of parrot eggs, a flute. Ooh, let's give that a play. Let's get out all the parrots. I don't even know where to put the turrets at this point. Okay, on to advanced loot boxes. What are we going to get here? Oh, shining block of diamond. So diamond furnace, paste containers, coal, steel axe, some armor. Charging stations, not too bad. A bullet turret, interesting. Another cobble turret, just going to throw them all away at this point. Fire charge turret, we definitely don't want in our wooden base. Imaginary swords, that's weird. Some iron. Advanced ore essence. That would have been good to have when I was grinding for that sort of thing. What's that? Another shining block of diamond? Silver furnace, diamond chest. Oh yeah, look at this elite essence. I definitely could have done with that. Alright, no, not really anything interesting. But at least that's all our quests claimed now. And then we're on to Singularities. Oh, I'm in two minds. I kind of want to just end the series here. Because this is literally... There's nothing really special to it. It's just getting... 4,000 of lots of different types of items. But I just don't think I want to do it. I could, I could very easily get... 4,000 of every item. 
Right, okay. Now, I am going to do it. We're going to do one more episode, I reckon, where we're going to get this. I'm going to leave the game running for like a full day, I, I guess, just to build up all of the resources. I'm going to go through off camera and make sure they've all got enough storage upgrades in them to hold 4,000 items. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one, which is probably and hopefully going to be the last one. Goodbye.